A huge turnout is expected to watch on as King Charles travels from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey for his coronation. Australian royal coach builder Jim Frecklington designed and built one of those carriages that will be used on Saturday to carry the King and Queen Camilla. Jim joins us live from Sydney. Jim, so good to see you. Thank you for your time. What an honour. Start, though, by just setting the scene for us. Tell us, how did a boy from central New South Wales end up with the responsibility of creating a, a coach fit for royalty? Uh, actually, lovely to be speaking to you today. I, as, as you say, I do come from out in central New South Wales, a little place called Peak Hill. Uh, when I was very young, I actually travelled to London and I was successful in getting a job uh, working for the royal household. And it was my job there to look after the... I was, and I should say I was one of the team uh, looking after the royal horses, both there and also down at Windsor Castle. And every Wednesday and Thursday afternoon, the royal stables would be open for visitors. And not only would it be my job to tell people about the coaches, but also the horses. And uh, many years later, I had the opportunity of bringing some of the coaches to Australia. And it was really through that exhibition I realised so many people loved these vehicles and I realised no one made them anymore. And after uh, some time, uh, Her Majesty gave approval for me to make a new one for, for her, which is called the Australian State Coach. And um, years later, I, I went on to make the Diamond Jubilee State Coach that is on the screen now. And uh, that uh, is what uh, His Majesty the King and also the Queen will be uh, travelling out uh, from Buckingham Palace down to Westminster Abbey. Jim, I am keen to hear more about the coach, but first, just, just go back a step and tell us what that experience was like, being part of that royal household. I understand that you knew the Queen personally. What was it like? How did she treat members of the royal household? Was it a, a Downton Abbey-style relationship, upstairs, downstairs? What's your insight? Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's been a wonderful experience. Uh, uh, I was only very young when I first started working for the royal household, but it's really enriched my life. And... Uh, I've had so many wonderful experiences there. Um, you know, when I was young, sometimes I'd go out riding with Her Majesty. And uh, in 1973, I had the, the great honour of travelling uh, with the Queen to Australia for the opening of the Opera House. But um, I've, uh, I've always loved the horses, uh, you know, much the same as the royal family. And um, I was always concerned that the, some of the parades may, be, uh, may not use the coaches so much as many of them were getting old and uh, possibly unsafe. So, um, so that is the reason why I make these vehicles. And I do make them different to what they've ever been made before. All those old vehicles, they have all sorts of leather straps on them to, to keep them stable, whereas I use all sorts of hydraulic stabilisers. And the Diamond Jubilee State Coach that you see on your screen now, uh, that's different to any other vehicle ever made in history as I was able to find 100 pieces of historic material from old buildings, old ships, old aircraft, all to do with the history of Britain, dating back almost 1,000 years. And actually, you can see inside the coach there now, and you actually see all those little segments of timber, and uh, underneath there, there's a stone, and that's a very, very special stone there. Uh, that's actually part of the coronation stone that goes back to the time of the Bible. Goodness. OK, that is impressive. You've created a, a real-life time capsule there. Tell us about the ride, though. Is it comfortable for the Royals? Oh, inside? yeah, that, 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 the, the Diamond Jubilee State Coach. And the images are coming up on the... I should just tell our viewers that, uh, that we have the crown there and also the lamps on the coach. Um, but the ride is extremely comfortable. Um, as uh, the, the Royal family travel along, uh, they can undo those... Uh, there's uh, a piece of timber you see on the right-hand side, which is the armrests. They're off the former Royal Yacht. And in those armrests, I actually have uh, the controls for the electric windows. Also, there's heating, uh, as well as that particular vehicle has a, a camera in the crown. But, um, but this is the coach that Her Majesty used to like to use for the opening of Parliament, uh, because uh, it's extremely comfortable to ride in. And how fast can it go, Jim? Have you tested its limits? Actually, normally uh, when there is a special event, we may the horses do only trot. Uh, probably uh, uh, when uh, when it's normally used uh, for most state occasions, like when Her Majesty would travel down to open the Parliament, uh, it would probably be around five and six miles an hour. But on the day of the coronation, uh, and that's this coming Saturday, 
uh, when the horses come out, the six horses drawing that coach, uh, they'll be walking down the mall, down to Trafalgar Square, and much the same as the horses on the screen uh, at the moment. Tell us, Jim, did you have much to do with King Charles? What sort of king do you expect he will be? He has pretty big shoes to fill. Um, for, for much of the time, I did work for the royal household, uh, King Charles, or Prince Charles, uh, as I knew him then. Uh, he was in the Navy. But I think he's going to be a, an excellent king. Uh, of course, he's uh, been waiting a long time for this wonderful experience. And, uh, but I, uh, he's, I think we're getting, in years to come, we'll look back and uh, say uh, there's no man that will do a better job than uh, what King Charles will do. You know, with his duchy of, uh, in, in England, uh, that's created enormous amount of jobs and, uh, and he's done some other wonderful things that uh, uh, will hold him, uh, uh, he'll become very special to everyone, I feel. Jim Frecklington, an absolute pleasure speaking with you. Enjoy the coronation, enjoy seeing all that hard work paying off as we see King Charles and Queen Camilla taking a ride. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Ashley, lovely to talk to you and uh, I hope all your viewers enjoy watching the coronation, which is going to be one of the biggest televised events in the world.